Hi, my name is Chris Skinner, VMware Education Services. In this segment, we'll be looking at configuring vNetwork standard switches. VMware vSphere provides a couple of different options for virtual switch technology. We have standard virtual switches and distributed virtual switches. In this segment, we're going to be looking at the standard virtual switch. Both of these switch types are actually modeled after Ethernet switch technology. There are two different types of connections that can reside on a virtual switch, allow virtual machines connectivity to the outside world as well as connectivity to other virtual machines within a vSphere infrastructure. Additionally, the second type of connectivity available to a switch is a VM kernel port. These ports are largely used for technologies such as vMotion, IP-based storage, and management of that ESX server. Virtual machine port groups, on the other hand, also provide connectivity to virtual machines both externally as well as connectivity to other virtual machines within the vSphere infrastructure. At the bottom of the switch, of course, you see the uplink ports. Those are our physical connections via the network switch port technology that exists in the physical box to provide connectivity. V switches can actually be configured in a couple of different ways, depending on the type of environment or physical server that you have and the number of switch ports available to you. In the top half of this slide, we see a virtual switch with multiple objects such as management, vMotion, production and test dev virtual machine port groups, as well as connection to iSCSI targets, with all of those components residing on the same virtual switch. This might be a configuration that would be required if you had a limited number of network connectivity ports available to you, such as a blade. In the bottom half of this switch, if you have ample network switch technology available or network adapters available to your ESX server, you can segment these switches into very specific tasks and or functionalities. In the bottom half of this slide, you can see that we've segmented the management from the vMotion and the production and test dev environments as well as our iSCSI storage target. You may also notice that each of these virtual switches at the bottom have the capability of having redundant physical connections to each of these virtual switches for high availability. To configure a virtual machine port group or create a virtual switch, we're now going to segue into a demonstration and show you how to actually create that. In this demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new virtual switch as well as adding a network adapter to that virtual switch and also create a virtual machine port group that would allow a virtual machine to connect to that outside or other virtual machines in that environment. We start by navigating through the vSphere client and connecting to the vCenter server. In this particular instance here, I've selected the actual host onto which I'm going to create that virtual switch navigate under the hardware parameters to networking under the configuration tab and make sure that the vSphere standard switch view is selected. I then come over here as you can see in my environment I already have a standard switch that was part of the installation process of the ESX server. It is currently have a virtual machine port group, a management port interface on this, as well as a physical network adapter identified as VMNIC0 associated with this particular switch. As I said in the outset, we're going to create a new virtual switch. So we come over here to add networking. You can see in this dialog box that I have two choices for creating a connection type. Because we're creating a virtual switch that's going to contain connectivity for a virtual machine, we're going to leave the first option selected. Click on Next. I will be presented a list of physical network adapters that I can associate with this switch. In this context, I'm going to leave VMNIC selected as the network connection. Click Next. Here I'm given the opportunity to rename the actual port group that is associated with that virtual switch. In this case, because we're creating a virtual machine port group, I'm going to create something that will be relevant to my environment. In this case, I'll call it production. Optionally, you'll see that I have the ability to also add a VLAN ID. There are a number of 
VLAN options available for tagging in a virtual vSphere infrastructure environment. For now, I will leave that name to none. Click Next. And of course, at this point, we have a Finish screen, which will allow me to complete the task. Once I complete that task, I now have a newly created switch in my environment associated with VMNIC 1 and a virtual machine port group called Production. At this point, as you can see on ESX number one, we have a virtual machine. In order to provide connectivity to the outside world for this virtual machine, I'm simply going to right click that VM, go to Edit Settings, click on the Network Adapter, and change the current selection from VM Network, which was associated with vSwitch 0, to the virtual machine port group that I created on vSwitch 1 called Production. Click OK. And at this point now, I have reassigned, as you can see the task completing at the bottom, I've reassigned that virtual machine from its original VM network virtual machine port group to the newly created production port group that resides on vSwitch 1. That concludes our demonstration of the virtual switch machine configuration. For more information about vSphere infrastructure, go to VMware Education Services on the web. VMware Education Services provides training in over 500 centers in 60 countries. This is delivered both by VMware Direct as well as our partners' authorized training centers. You can take classes in an instructor-led classroom environment. Class can also be delivered remotely via live online. We also have private on-site capability as well as a number of free e-learning modules that are available on our website as well. You can find us online at any of the links listed below.